is Carlos Takam. I'm uh, rocking with Lady Shaw in the building. Yeah. In the building. Ra, 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 ra. Ra, 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 ra. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Well, 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 well. And still the 168 undisputed champion of the world is in the building. Saul Canelo Alvarez beats, and I mean he beats, Saimi Mungia in a unanimous points decision. That was my prediction. Um, see it on Twitter. Uh, see it on my weekly wrap-up show last week. That was my official prediction. Um, I just didn't think that Canelo would be able to get an iron chin, an iron chin, Jaime Mungia, <clears throat> totally out the the building. He dropped Jaime Mungia in the fourth round. Um, Jaime definitely won uh, uh, about three or four rounds. Came out, uh, the first four rounds, I think it was, uh, when it was the first three rounds, we had Jaime up. So it was 2-1 to Jaime. Then he got dropped in the fourth round. So obviously that was a Canelo round. Jaime uh, chose not to really set the distance uh, and, and box Canelo at range or in mid to long would have fared better for Jaime. But he chose to be in Canelo's way and Canelo's counters. He, he just punched in between Jaime's shots and he always caught him. Blush, rock Jaime. Um, Canelo did get his head whipped back. Well, you know, we see Canelo get his head whipped back, but he is a very, he's got a very ironclad uh, chin. Um, and that's just, uh, that's not even up for debate, to be honest. Um, Jaime came with really good um, combos, um, but Canelo had really good defense. Um, you know, he came with high guard and I was blocking a lot of Jaime's shots, but Jaime's volume did seem to cause Canelo a little bit of problems in the, uh, I would say, you know, Jaime does flail mid-rounds and then he always gets this second wind and that second wind is why I chose to give uh, my prediction of a unanimous decision to Canelo because Jaime's second wind, if it was anybody else other than Canelo, Jaime's second wind, he always gets the opponent out. Uh, we saw that with Devryanchenko. We saw that with uh, John Ryder. Um, um, what was the other guy? The uh, Spike. Spike. Is it Spike? Spike. Sullivan, I think. Um, yeah, Jaime was getting pieced up there until he he, he, well, he actually stopped him, I think, in round six. Um, Canelo flails down the stretch. So I think the volume um, w poses a bit of a problem. Canelo took a couple rounds off. He's a bit tired. This is his 65th fight. And Jaime's 44th. I mean, damn. Canelo chose great shot selection. Um, he, he's got, you know, he's got lots of, uh, tools in his, uh, in his box for sure. He shows a great, uh, a great, uh, great combos as well. Um, yeah, and it was a good fight to watch. Um, it was exciting. As you see, there's a lot down. Oh, whoa. I'm like, Jaime's down. Jaime's down. <laughs> but yeah, Jaime started to lose form after the knockdown. I think the confidence he... He started just getting caught and hit too much times. Um, um, you know, he has looked better under Freddie Roach. But I just think this is where experience beats youth. But youth helped Jaime to stay in the fight. Great account of himself, though, I'm not going to lie. And um, he should feel proud to of, of his performance. I mean... You know, Canelo did say at the end of the at the end of the fight that oh Jaime was slow and I saw all his punches. <laughs> the liberties in the building. I'm so fucking tired. I I'm not going to do this uh, blow by blow and blow, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, we will discuss this on Monday in the weekly wrap up shiggity shiggity show. But overall, great fight. Jaime did very well. Um, I was like, just come on, Jaime, just get this done. Let's make sure you have a good account of yourself. And, and that's it. You know, it's no shame losing to Canelo Alvarez. You know what I mean? Um, I do still think that Canelo will face problems with anyone that's a mover and uh, got, pa uh, got power. Um, that's always been my uh, thing for Canelo. And I know that's Canelo's uh, Achilles heel. Um, but yeah, great, great. Canelo looked sharp. 
um, short, impactful punches that generated a hell of a lot of power, man. Like, a lot of power. And I think sometimes, I think the height did pose a slight problem for Jaime because um, he would sometimes go for hooks and he would, like, hook quite right round Canelo's, over Canelo's head. Like, uh, so I think him being six foot and Canelo being... 5'7", they say he's 5'8", he's not, he's 5'7", um, may have, uh, you know, he didn't really know how to fight always a very short fighter because in the 168 division, the average height is about 6 foot in that division, 5'10 to 6 foot for sure, average. Um, but yeah, shouts out to Sa Saul Canelo Alvarez. Uh, he wins and beats Jaime Monguia. In unanimous points, this is Sean. Um, so, yeah, commiserations to Jaime. Um, you did a good job. You did a good job. Anyway, I'm gone. Hey, girl, it's Leah Dishan, Rep Nonless. Come box with Sean. Gun! Wow, the knockdown in round four. Is it a beauty scene? Gun! Viva Mexico! Bye bye. <laughs>